everybody! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own White Castle. Now, um, I've uh, based the White Castle building off of like a castle that's white. <laughs> kind of go with the name. Um, even though the real buildings aren't really castles, or just, you know, they're like a... They, I mean, there's some things on the restaurants that kind of make it look like kind of like a castle. But it's not like fully like a castle like it is here. As you guys can see, it's got, you know, makes it, it's just, it's just like a castle, basically. Um, and I've actually never eaten White Castle in years, so, uh, yeah. But, yeah, enough about that. Let's get into the tutorial. Alright, guys, so, to make White Castle, you're gonna need a 30 by 32 block area on the ground. Do make this grid in your world. Uh, you do not have to put the numbers, that's just so I know how big the grid needs to be, but making the grid will make the... Um, build a whole lot easier to make, or at least, you know, so you can understand how to make it more. Um, and then the materials you're going to need, you're going to need white concrete, blue concrete, orange concrete, uh, graph block, um, block quartz, quartz slab, um, smooth stone, light gray concrete, gray concrete, jungle wood, um, any colored glass block, glass pane, any kind of leaves, or you don't have to use leaves at all. You could probably use like flowers. You can either use flowers or leaves, because I just recommend it. Um, yellow carpet, crafting chest, a chest. Put your banners in just in case anything happens to them, and then white banner. Um, and you're, you're gonna have to go down to the banner loaders video in the description box below to, um, you know, learn how to make the banners. So the link to the banner loaders video will be in the the description box below. I do highly, 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 highly recommend surrounding the letters in white, um, simply because if you don't, um, the, the banner, the, the, the restaurant's gonna have some colors going around it with the, you know, it's gonna have orange and blue going around it, and if you don't surround the banners with the white, the letters are gonna blend in with the colors and you won't be able to read them that well, so if you surround them with white, they'll stand out more and you'll be able to read them better, and then obviously you need red and orange, or sorry, Blue, uh, orange, blue, and white dye. I don't know why I don't have blue. I don't know why I don't have blue in here, but um, white. The word white needs to be blue, and then the word castle needs to be orange. You guys can swap them, but the way it is is you know white's blue and castle's orange. So even though it's white castle, but <laughs> whatever. All right, so I guess we can get started with the tutorial now. So you know, once you you know once you have all your materials, once you've made your banners. Um, once you've figured out where you want to make your White Castle, I'm going to be making mine between Sonic, or, you know, beside Sonic and behind McDonald's here. Um, you're going to kick off with, uh, you're going to make, okay, so basically, we're going to make the parking lot first. And guys, just so you know, um, if my, if my, um, charger for my controller pops out and I have to go grab it, just, uh, just, you know, but I'm just letting you guys know that might happen in this video. But anyway, enough chit-chat, let's get into this. So, um... So to kick off your um, white castle, we need to do the drive through first. So dig out the first and the last three rows of your grid at the bottom, like so. Extend each of those three rows all the way to the very end. And we're going to have these three rows basically go around the back and on the sides. Oopsie. Good thing we have breath block, right? Uh, sorry, my nose is itchy, but I've been itching all day, by the way. It's, it's so annoying. All right, once you do this row, you obviously want to do the same to the other row as well. So, um, basically, just want to come down here. Now, I don't know if the next city build, I'm pretty sure the next city build video will probably either come tomorrow or just whenever I feel like doing it. Um, because, you know, making these aren't, you know, that, making, um, Minecraft tutorials aren't always that fun. I mean, doing the actual tutorial is fun, but planning out and, like, making all the banners and the grid and planning out everything, it's just not fun at all. I mean, I know I don't have to do it, but, you know, since I've already done it, I don't want to just, like, simply quit the series, you know? It's a fun series to do. It's not that I don't like doing the series, it's just that 
it's a lot of work, so, <laughs> you know, can't say no to work. So, uh, you know what, you guys can definitely tell how much work I put into this YouTube channel. But, um, yeah, so, that's pretty much it. So you basically get drive through. So you obviously want to connect the, connect them together at the back part. Three rows, obviously. Alright, so then what you want to do is one away from the drive through you can literally just knock this out and put the grass blocks. Um, you want to put four rows of gray concrete on either side and then put grass block between those four rows of gray concrete. Like so. And then the, those two four rows of concrete are basically the entrances into our parking lot. Alright, and you want to extend this up by seven, I think. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not 100% sure. It might be eight, but I don't know. Hang on. Alright, hang on. Let me just check something here. I wrote plans, so obviously I need to figure this out. So this is what? Oh, it's 13 wood, okay. Hang on, let me just figure something out. You guys don't have to do anything yet, just uh, let me figure this out here, so. Wait, did I say how wide these are supposed to be? Hang on. <laughs> I'm trying to follow these plans. Yeah, I didn't say how wide these are supposed to be. Oh, God. God, good. Okay. Oh, God, I might have just made a mistake here. I mean, oh, I haven't made a mistake, but, like, I haven't made it. The planning is just terrible. I hate my plans. I think it's by three, though. Yeah, it's definitely by three. Okay, so, all right, I figured it out, guys. But, uh, I mean, I haven't figured out this whole crisis yet. This is what I hate about tutorials is that, like, the plans aren't that good, and then it's just, like, uh, Burger King was just terrible. Good God. If you guys haven't watched my Burger King video, go do that. I wouldn't. Re I don't recommend following the tutorial, honestly, because the tutorial is just garbage. Three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. So it is by seven. Okay. I just want to make sure, guys, because I don't want this to be like. I don't want the parking lot to be too big or too small. So yeah, guys, alright, I figured it out. Yeah, so it is by 7, so it's up by 7. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> that wasn't, I didn't, like, make a mistake. I just had to make sure, like, how many rows I was going to do, or I needed to do, so. And it just took me a little while to figure that out, but. Yeah, I just had to count how big the sides were going to be, and then the tower things that you probably saw on the sides. Or, or that you pretty much did see on the sides, so. At least I hope you did. <laughs> Alright, um, okay. Okay, so once you've done that, this basically just takes, um, like a few seconds. So yeah, you basically just, you know, extend about by seven on either side, then connect them together at the back, then dig out the square that you've just formed, and then just fill it in with gray concrete. And that's simple. And then in the middle between the entrances, you basically want to put leaves or flowers. Like so. Behind the parking lot, you want to put two rows of smooth stone. Um, and the reason we have two rows, well, it's because we have the towers. Um, and they're one out from the wall. I'm sure you guys saw that. Um, and, you know, we want some smooth stone back there. So, a lot of the smooth stone on the second row will probably just be covered by the tower. So. Alright, so once you've done that, we need to make the parking spaces themselves. So, on the very edge here. You want to dig out four blocks and you want to fill it in with white. And then leave a gap of two, do four, gap of two, do four, gap of two, do four. And you basically you just want to do this until you reach the very end of the um, of the parking lot. And this should perfectly, if you've done this right, this should perfectly should have a perfect amount that are all perfect and everything, so it should basically look like this, and this is what you should have right now, other than the numbers and the materials back there, but <laughs> you get the point. Alright, so 
Um, alright, so then I'm pretty sure, yeah, we are done with the, uh, you know, the parking lot and stuff. Well, actually, no, we're not. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're missing one little detail. So, grab your yellow carpet and put them, um, at the two rows, so you see where we have this, like, gray concrete here. And these are supposed to be the little bumpers that are supposed to keep cars from running into the building, so... Yeah, so those, that's what those are supposed to be. And it has a little bit of decoration. Just a little bit. Alright, and then this is an optional step. You guys can kind of put leaves around here. This is what I like to do. Just kind of gives the building a little more decoration, kind of. I don't know. You guys don't have to do this. This is optional, but that's just what I want to do. Alright, so once you've done that, you can actually get rid of these, but keep them, because you might need them. You never know. <laughs> Uh, grab blue concrete, orange concrete, uh, block quartz, quartz slab, uh, both of glass, um, jungle wood, and um, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Yep, okay. So now we're going to make the building itself, so this can be a little tricky. I need to flip to my plans here. Oh, let's just I'll flip over. <laughs> Alright, so here we are at my plans. Uh, Alright. I think I can figure this out. Okay, so you see where we have the second row uh, of stone. You guys can see what I'm talking about. Not this row that's closest to the parking lot, but this this row that's closest to the back. So you guys can obviously see this row right here. Oh, well, okay. So, we want to place four block of quartz on either side, like so. Um... Extend, uh, extend, uh, wait, what? What am I even talking about? Okay, um, uh, nah, 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 nah. okay. So what you want to do, basically, is you want to put, so you see the, you say, okay, you make the rows of four, obviously. Extend each side, uh, out by three, and then connect them at the back. So that's pretty simple. You make a square with a two by two hole inside. And you want to do this on the other side as well, so um, this is kind of where I recommend making the bushes, kind of like around the back at least, and then you could delete them if you don't want them. Um, extend them out on sides by three, and connect them at the back or the front, wherever you're making it. Uh, one, two, three. And boom, you just want four corners just like so. So I'm technically showing you guys how to make a castle, but it's a white castle. <laughs> technically, it is a white castle, but it's the restaurant white castle. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. That restaurant white castle? Yeah, but that's what we're making. Um, connect um, each of these uh, towers together with the... Uh, uh, what's the what is this called? Uh, uh, jungle wood. I'm stupid. <laughs> Um, but you want them, like, one row back from the actual towers themselves. You can obviously move the leaves and stuff, whatever, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I'm kind of a lazy person. Alright, so each of those towers, uh, you want to extend, um, all those, um, quartz for the towers. You want to extend them all up by nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's one of the least fun parts of the tutorial. You pretty much have to extend... Oh my gosh, all of the um, um, quartz up all the way until you know you have nine rows until these um, you know pillars are nine rows tall. And uh, I'll just do this first one and off camera I'll do the other three so this won't be like an incredibly long video. Alright, and you obviously want to fill it in at the top, because that's where we're at in the other details. But yeah, so you basically want each of these tower things to be nine blocks tall, and I'll be right back once I've done that. Alright guys, so basically, once you've done that, all these uh, towers should be nine blocks tall. But that's not how tall the restaurant wants to be. The rest of the walls don't want to be nine blocks tall. I'll show you guys that here in a bit. So, basically, what you want to do next is actually grab your quartz slab... And on each corner of the, uh, so basically like each of the four corners of the tower, you want to put um, 
quartz slab. So on each of the individual corners, quartz slab, you want, yeah, basically like that. So pretty freaking awesome. And then, uh, um, in the very middle here, you want to knock out, you want to find the middle space. It's actually a pretty much pretty easy. You should have three spaces on that side, three spaces, three spaces on that side. Uh, find the very middle space, line it up to where the jungle wood is, and then knock out the two jungle wood that is lined up with the middle space. And that's how you find the entrance. So, uh, I guess you also need doors for this. Um, I didn't include doors when I said the items, but obviously you can use whatever door you want. Or maybe I did. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. So I did. I guess I did. Alright. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, right. I guess that's not that big of a mistake. Um, not really much of a mis mistake either, but... <sighs> okay, so... What the... Okay... I think we've run into a problem. Okay. Wait. What? This is weird. Okay. I think we ran into a problem. Uh. I don't know. Did we? There should be. What? Seriously, guys, making tutorials is not easy. Like, making the buildings is okay, but like, doing tutorials? Okay. Well, I did something wrong, but we're just going to roll with it. It's not that big of a mistake. It's just like there should be two windows on each end, but something must have happened. I don't know. Seriously, it's so hard. Because, like, something must be wrong with the grid or something because the building is, like, too small. Because now it's, like, the w there should be two windows on each side. Okay, just don't do anything, guys. It's honestly not even that big of a mistake. Uh, I mean, if it bothers you, you can do whatever you want. I don't give a crap. This is just such a fail. Why did I even decide? Why did I even decide to do Minecraft tutorials? I am just the dumbest human being to ever exist. Cause I was just the person to decide. Hey, let's do Minecraft tutorials. It'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Well, I guess. Okay. Well, let's stop blabbering about that. Um. Okay. So, just put the windows wherever you think. Um. Yeah. This is ugly. <sighs> Guys, making tutorials is legit just, uh, I don't know, it's a bad word, I shouldn't say it, but, you know, H-E-L-L, -L. it's just terrible, I don't know, I might actually start, I might actually quit soon, honestly, because this is just bad, but, you know, I might actually just not, but, seriously, it's just that the, the building is too small, ugh, god, I suck, guys, I'm the worst, I don't know how TSMC does it, I mean, Seriously, how does he do it? I don't know. He's the master. I can't be, I can never be as good as him, but I don't know. If I quit now, what's the point of quitting? I guess I should just like try and get better. Like both White Castle Bur and Burger King were just the worst to do. Both White Castle and Burger King. Where even is Burger King? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, Burger King and White Castle are just the worst. Um, I mean, not in real life, but, but the builds are just terrible. Because now I don't even know where the windows go. Well, I mean, I know where they go, but... Uh, it's just we can't put them, because the building is too small. Okay, I think I see the problem. Okay, so... I think the towers are too wide. That's the problem. Okay, so we didn't make, like, a giant mistake, which is we just made the towers too thin, or too wide. So the towers actually have to be, like, three. I don't know. This is just a complicated build, but... No worries, guys. I figured it out. So, basically, what you want to do is uh, cut out the sides of the... Because then these, then these look weird. Okay, you might actually want to cut out the edges of this as well. Yes, yes. I can definitely see it coming together now. Yes, yes, okay. So, if you guys still don't get it... Or I'll show you. Okay, well, I'll show you on that one over there. Yeah, so we made the towers too big. That's what that's the problem, guys. See that the the things with these tutorials, you might make something too big or too small. Okay, so right here, we got this tower of four. You want to come to the very left side wherever the jungle wood is at. And you want to cut off this one side and then just obviously extend the you know, you want to extend the jungle wood right, and then you want to fill in this gap. 
that is in the wall. Yeah, so that's why the window, because there's there should be two windows on each end of the front. Yeah, alright. And then obviously, if we didn't figure this out, then the sides would have, you know, been wrong and everything. Okay, actually, what am I doing? Like, okay. And then, once you've done that, you want to come to the back part of the tower here, and you want to knock out, you know, you want to take out this entire side. And then, yeah. So that's, a, and you only need to take out these two sides, because everything else is fine. So yeah, sorry. But that was just a tiny little, well, it was a medium, it was about a medium-sized mistake. It wasn't, like, giant. Um, still involves us tearing down the towers, but, okay, how do we do this, honestly? Oh, okay, so we take out this side. So front and side, front and side, even though every angle, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so yeah, this doesn't take very long. I mean, it takes, it's time consuming, but it's not like it doesn't like take very long. Um, yeah, it's a little bit time consuming. Oops, what am I doing? Um, yeah, anyway, it's a little time consuming, but it doesn't, it honestly doesn't even take that long. Okay, yeah, so the towers were just way too big. Uh, for some reason, when I was doing this, um, I don't know, I guess I just thought for some reason that the towers would be too small. But now that we're doing this, the towers are obviously way too big. And now, when I'm doing this now, the towers are honestly this perfect size. Alright, and now we got the last one. You know, yeah, I'm terribly sorry about that, guys. Making Minecraft tutorials really isn't easy. Like, you guys can probably, if you're a young YouTuber, try it for yourself. It really is not that easy. Like, I mean, maybe unless you're, like, a skilled person or something, but me, I'm honestly not. I really am not, honestly. But, yeah, it's just not good. It's just not good. Because then you gotta, like, write plans and stuff, or maybe there's another way you guys might be able to do it. If there's another way, comment below. Well, maybe, well, don't, actually, because no one would ever do it, so what's the point of asking? But, okay, so, oopsie. Okay, so once you've done that, after that small mistake, that's right, I said small, we can finally, finally get into building the rest of the walls. Wow, okay, let's finally get into building the walls. Alright, so now we can put in the windows. So the windows, kind of need to figure this out. Hang on, don't do anything, guys. Alright, yeah, okay. So basically, on either side of the door, we actually need a different material. We're going to need the gray concrete. On either side of the door, put gray concrete, and then put black stained glass above the door, like that. On the left of, uh, and also the right, of the gray concrete, you want to put two rows of um, black stained glass pane, or any colored glass pane, um, make as high as the um, gray concrete there. And then you obviously want to put a row of gray concrete on the end of the window, leave a gap of two. And put two more rows of gray concrete, and then fill in the next hole by the window here with glass pane. Glass pane. I recommend glass pane. On the top of that window, you want to put orange, or all the windows basically. Then you want to put blue concrete, and this is optional. You guys don't have to do this. This is just for extra design purposes. You know, it's for design purposes. But put two rows of blue concrete above the windows to where they're aligned with the glass, basically. Um, and then you want to put a row of block of quartz, and then a row of blue concrete, and then two rows of block of quartz. And uh, yeah, and this is going to be this is pretty much what you should have right now. And it looks pretty good. So basically, then what you want to do is you want to put a slab at the top, gap of two, slab, two, slab, two, slab, all the way till you reach the end. You should perfectly reach the end like so. There we go. No mistakes. Looks amazing. Um, and here's where you guys are going to have to grab the banners. Like I said, link is in the description box below for the banner letters video. Surround the letters in the white so it stands out better. Also, white is blue. Castle is orange. Okay, I'm not going to be able to fit everything. but um, So basically, once you got your banners, at least some of them, um... Um, you basically want to come right about here, so it's like one away. So it's like you see the blue row, right? You want to come one row. So you want to see the so this blue row, right? 
want to count one block in, one block up. And then that's where you place W, and then H, I, T, E. Leave a gap of three, so that's one, two, three. And then put, oops, what the frick? Cast, and then obviously grab the other letters. I would just recommend putting these in the chest. Grab the other two letters, you know, if you can't fit them. And there you go, White Castle. All right, so that's looking pretty good. All right, obviously uh, grab your materials back because you are going to need them again. So definitely grab them again. Okay, you don't need white concrete, but that's besides the point. And then yeah, grab gray concrete. You'll need that. All right, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that is the front of White Castle complete. So then you can come to the side, and for the side, I'm gonna have to switch over to my next page, which is for the side. All right, so mm -hmm. so basically, what you want to do is, um, I'm pretty sure you want to put two rows of jungle wood. And then two is a gray concrete, leave a gap of two, gray concrete, gap of two, gray concrete. And the rest you want to put block of quartz. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what you do. If not, then I uh, apologize. <laughs> and then basically, obviously, row of uh, orange, row of white, row of blue, two rows of white. Then obviously in the windows, or above the windows, you want to put blue concrete. And then in the windows, you want to put the glass. So, you know, so in case it's winter, uh, cold air won't get in through the windows. Um, actually, you know what? I think we made the windows a little too... Yeah, I don't think there's supposed to be jungle wood here, because now I'm just already looking. I can already tell it's already not right. Okay, not a big mistake. So actually, instead of um, jungle wood, you want to put two, ro two rows of gray. Got the two. Two rows of gray. Got two. Two rows of gray. And obviously put that there. And obviously fill the windows in. And then put the blue on top of the windows. Alright, there we go. So that's how it's actually done. I feel like, I don't know, is that actually how it's done? I don't know. It's it, The plans suck. But it doesn't really matter, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and you can add a drive through window on the side if you want to. I'm going to add it on the other side, so... Oh yeah, you also want to also put the slab on as well, so... Top corner here, slab, gap two, slab, gap two, slab, gap two, slab, gap two, slab, gap two. Slab, gap two. And yeah, that's just for the castle design that I'm using, so... Um, uh, you can actually just copy what you have on the other side. It's actually pretty simple, I don't even need to tell you. It's very simple to just copy what you have on the other side. Um, you know, once you got the two windows down, basically you just put the quartz. It's not that not that hard at all. And obviously, we all know what goes above the windows. You know, we got the white, and then we got the blue. Obviously, I never I never tell this in my tutorials. I should uh, pause if you need to. If I'm going too quick for you, um, I understand. You know, I'm, I'm, I can be fast sometimes. But yeah, guys, just, um, alright, and that's the side, and then the drive through window is just two blocks away from the original window, knock out six blocks on the other side, on either side of the six blocks, you want to put whatever color you want, as long as it doesn't match the building or this row, um, and yeah, and I don't really recommend putting anything above it, I just like the drive through to kind of stand out a little bit. In the back is fairly easy, so you just do two rows of quartz, and then you do a row of um, orange concrete, and then a row of quartz, a row of blue concrete, and then two rows of quartz. Just the like so. Okay, I don't know why my okay my camera's being weird. Sorry about that. And then, oh yeah, you should also do oh oh I already did oh. I thought I didn't. It's like it's just magically got there. But yeah, so you want to put slab, get two, slab, get two, slab, get 
two, side dab two. I seriously don't remember doing this. How did, did this just pop up out of nowhere? I don't know. Probably didn't, obviously, but yeah. So anyway, um, so once you've done that, that's basically the walls and everything for White Castle complete. The only thing left to do is fill in the roof, which for me, I'm just going to do block of quartz. You guys can obviously do whatever you want. I'm actually going to have the roof just indented in. Oopsie. Um, so just kind of like this right here. So I don't know if I 100% like that, but I'm not even going to do anything really with this white castle. Um, at least in at least in this world. So Any building in this world, I only just show you guys how to make. I don't really do anything else with them. I don't do the interiors with them. Because I already did the do the interiors for the original. You know, to show you guys what you guys could put inside with buildings, you know. So. Yeah. Uh, um, basically, we just fill this all up. Fill this up, and once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, White Castle will be 100% completed. Wow, that was crazy. I can't believe we made the towers too big. <laughs> That's put a dent in things, but we were finally able to pull through, just like Burger King. We made a little bit of a mistake, or, well, Burger King made giant mistakes, but here it was kind of a giant mistake, but it wasn't, like, so big. It was just kind of a little medium-sized mistake. But anyway, guys, yeah, so White Castle's 100% finished. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash a like and subscribe. And uh, let me just clear my materials here. Uh, I'll actually use the grass to get all those numbers and everything. But, um, but yeah, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to switch back to my original version of White Castle to show you guys the inside, just in case you aren't so sure what you guys can put inside your White Castle. So here we are, in my original world, with my original White Castle. So once White Castle is completed, this is basically what you want to have. So here in the original version, I used white between the windows. Um, but you guys could use, you know, whatever. And on the side, they used... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know why on the front I didn't use gray, but then on the side I used gray. That just doesn't make sense. I don't know what I was thinking there, but... Yeah, so... Basically, yeah, same here. I did the intention. Yeah, this is actually how big the towers are supposed to be. Yep. Uh, not thought, not uh, well planned out, but eventually we pulled through and I figured it out. So, once you come inside, so obviously we uh, have the typical. Now, I don't know why these are connected. That's just the best way to do it, but. Yeah, so we got some tables. I used uh, pistons for as tables and then some carpet for the tablecloth. So we have some orange, and then we have some blue to cooperate with the uh, White Castle colors. Same with the carpets, we got um, blue and orange carpet going left and right, kind of guiding you through the restaurant. Here we got a kitchen with the iron block floor, ovens, fryers, storage, some more storage. We got the cash register, these are just for decoration, these aren't meant to be anything. Got some flowers that coexist with the colors as well. We, we like to use a bunch of the restaurant's colors around the place, so drive through window. I've never been in a White Castle. Like I said, I've never been to White Castle in years, so yeah, I just kind of thought, you know, I just kind of put my original, you know, restaurant designs only in um, White Castle colors. So here we got the drinks area. We got some trash cans and paintings and flowers just around the place just to add some more decoration. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash a like. That's right, smash a like. I gotta put my thumbs up in front of the camera so you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, smash a like. Subscribe to the channel. Road to 200 subscribers. Uh, turn on post notifications so you won't miss an upload. Um, every time I upload a new video. And, um, before we go, um, you know... Uh, or actually, hang on. Let me just say the rest of the stuff first. Uh, also, subscribe to my second channel, Logan C224, Colby O'Donis fan. Uh, road to 20 subs on that channel. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter, uh, Lou and Corelli at FlashLover61. Uh, Instagram at um, LCorelli2006. Um, okay, so then, 
Um, before we peace out, um, obviously, we have to reveal the next city build. That is right, everybody. Kane's Chicken Fingers is going to be the next city build on the channel. Uh, if you guys don't know what Kane's Chicken uh, or Kane's is, it's basically just a chicken finger restaurant. It's pretty good. Not my favorite, but it's pretty good. I prefer Chick Fil A, but yeah, I'll tell you more about it in this video, or not like this video that you're watching right now, but the, you know the Kane's video. But yeah, anyway, guys, um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.